Hi, I'm Wilson. So today, let's keep on making video about CE1. And first of all, I need to say thank you and thank you so much for all that support and all your comments. I, I haven't got the time to reply one by one, but uh, all your feedback give us the most energy to keep on. And by the first day, our link online and can be ordered, got real orders from you. Not too much, but it's okay. And uh, we, we are making this very slowly, as I said, like, like one or two devices per day. So, so for all the people who have already ordered this device, and uh, I, I should say that, and we have got your orders very well and we are preparing we have the inventory and uh, right now we're just doing some settings and also we need to replace the power cord uh, to the country where you like you north american or some uh, somewhere and uh, and then we need some days later and can ship also the shipping is from china time will be like uh, weeks count in weeks so just have the patience and wait for some more days. I know the feeling uh, when when I when I see a gear that I want and then I pay the money and I just want the device get to my hand as fast as possible. Sometimes I just been crazy about thinking this. I know that feeling, but for this device, we need your patience. <laughs> It's just perfect that we can got orders from any one of you and already have the confidence about this device. So, so what I think is that I do have the confidence and and I did all of the things, even the company, just because I really love music and I like play guitar. Although I'm a very awful guitar player, that's a dream, man. And I always think that one day I can play guitar as a guitarist. I believe so. As I'm doing this, I have all the opportunities to make friends of many, many great guitarists, great artists, and I can learn a lot of things from them, and I'm so happy. And also, thank you, thank you all. In this video, I want to say something about the CPU and the computer board. So that's the key of this device. And the other key is the audio interface. We will, we will talk more about that the next time. First of all, let's see powering this device. This is a power bank, so you may be curious about how I'm powering it. So no, no power adapter, no cords, and just this one and the Type C connection. USB PD can give out very high power and can put in a voltage up to 15 volts. So if you want to do the same thing as as I do, you need to make sure your power bank has the USB PD and has listed the voltage and the current at least 15 volt. 3 amps. You may be curious about uh, uh, how many time it will take to start up and uh, can play in. So let's count. So yeah, start. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so in less than 20 seconds, it get to this screen very fast. <laughs> you know the camper or DSP, they also take a lot of seconds. We do the startup function on this folder. So if you put any any application in this folder, it will st auto start up. Just, it's just a function in in Windows system and you know that we need to still wait another about 10 to 20 seconds and then we have already put the overload THU in this okay so if right now we have the guitar it already can be played so the idea is you if you set one time for the application for all the audio input output and for all the MIDI controllers see we already done the settings. Uh, I should point out the software, the third party software, you need to buy it yourself. So the device we ship to you is an empty device. Uh, that's great sense, like a DSP plugins and uh, overall THU. This one is very, very good. And I just recommend uh, THU because it's function and it's uh, input output is just uh, four in, four out. All the, all the input output you can 
and you can get control. And uh, the DSP, newer DSP, the plugin is also, it sounds great, so great. Uh, but uh, you only have one, one input and two output. There are so many good softwares. We will install an uh, open source free software, the NAM. You know that that's a very good plugin. So that's all for the power on process. And uh, so if you power off the device, you don't have to just close everything. And uh, so, I mean, for this device, you can configure it and then just by one click and you can play. And uh, another one click and you, you can totally shut down it. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shut down, totally shut down. And uh, this screen is just uh, because of the screen power. Oh, okay, it's okay. So the, the blue process will last just uh, several seconds. Then you can plug this one. And sometimes even in use, uh, we know that a computer, if you just uh, uh, force it to power off, uh, it's not good to them, but uh, it's okay. I, I never, I never met any uh, real damage or problems about just to shut down the, the power source when it's running. So it's okay. So don't, don't be afraid of that. So as I said, this video is more about the, the story of uh, how we do this uh, uh, computer inside, the, how we choose the computer board. Actually, we did a lot of tests. Uh, so this is some computer board we tried. So all, all can run in Windows and also Linux. Actually, this device, if you are a geek, you can install Linux by yourself. And even, you know, the black Apple. So we never tried, but uh, I think it's okay. The CPU, I see someone using this kind of CPU to run like black Apple, but uh, it's not recommended. So it is possible, but uh, I haven't tried. And also this is another CPU computer board I tried. Also another one, yes. So. I mean, I tried a lot, even even though I buy something like this, this is an um, industrial mini computer and it have, has everything inside. And also I buy a lot of pads, uh, like iPad, but uh, it's it's not Apple, it's uh, running Windows uh, or Android. So the one we used inside this device is the one we think is the best. So it's not the fastest. I mean, I have a laptop and a very powerful, it, it's like, i9 i7 something the cpu and uh, uh, and also very good gpu but uh, running if you're running the uh, effects software even the audio interface is good but sometimes it got clicks so mm, uh, very very narrow clicks uh, just occasionally so that's really bad so this one inside is it's not the fastest but it's very fluent I should point out some software is really need a very high CPU source, CPU power. That's only a small part of software, but most of the effect software uh, run, the, run on this device very well and very smooth. And you can even configure the uh, sample rate to 96 kHz and uh, the, sample, the sample points can be as low as 32. Not normally we do 128, but uh, 64 is better. 32, they will put the audio stream very continuously and uh, no gap between and very low latency. It's not guaranteed for all the software, but some software can run it. So understand that. And so that's the story we choose on a CPU board inside and make the device just as it is now. So keep in mind that we need a device doing the software processing smoothly, better than anything others. Okay, that's all for today's video. And uh, thank you, thank you for all your attention. And thank you for all the people who have already placed the orders. And um, I think we still have the inventory and it can be ordered uh, uh, today. I do make something like this. This is a TS Mega. And, uh, uh, I designed this device many, many years ago, uh, almost about 10 years ago. So so this one is only MIDI controller plus the audio interface. And also it's just a two in, two out audio interface. So 
actually this one at that time it got also very so many attention from guitarists from musicians and uh, uh, a lot of people like it and uh, the main idea is we use an ipad ipad can run a lot of good softwares and then uh, put it on so um even it all even it already combined the audio interface and the MIDI controller and we have the iPad we can go to the stage uh, still in my opinion still uh, if you are lazy so every time you need to connect to the wire and also uh, open the software and uh, and also your iPad maybe that's not a dedicated device you are using an iPad doing a lot of other things and when you are playing you need to take your iPad here and connect to it and also plug the sense so it it is still a little complex so after this one so this one you can take it you can sync it just as in the hardware it's everything here and all you need is power power on it and plug your input and output so that's the way better and if you put this on your desk or you go to the gig you can treat it just as in the hardware multi effects so it really changed a lot compared to this kind of usage i see some comments from you and uh, uh, you think you have you already have good computers and even the apple computers you have very good software already installed you just need an audio fit you need more as an audio interface and the midi controller so uh, they, so we are not uh, making this device anymore it stopped many years ago but uh, for this one, maybe we can spin a new product uh, later. I mean, maybe next year. So uh, without the computer board and the only audio interface and the MIDI controller, that's possible. But uh, I I can't guarantee right now because we are really a small company and uh, very limited resources. And uh, we just focus on the most important thing right now, like the CE1 and also the MIDI controller series. Okay, that's all for today's video. So tell some story and uh, next time I may go into some something about the sound and uh, actually all the sound is based on the audio interface and also the software itself it's nothing to do with the device with the computer only if the computer can run it smoothly what I think is that our audio interface have some something other people other device don't have I will tell you what it is so See you next time.